Welcome back to Techno Sage YouTube channel with the launch of RTX 40 ET right around the corner like it's already been launched and we now have the embargo lifted and we have some news some specs regarding RTX 40 80 but it is more efficient compared to the last gen like it clearly beats RTX 40 80 clearly beats RTX 3090 Ti in almost every scenarios but uh, given the fact like uh, RTX 4080 retails for almost 1700 bucks like it retails it should retails for 1200 but it retails, retails for 1700 which is a bad thing to see along with it there's not a performance uplift compared to 48 like when you compare it with F G DLSS 3.0 you get a massive uplift but in pure rasterization it's pretty low compared to thing but the thing where it's good is in power consumption it consumes very less power it is because of tsm's is 4 nanometer but at the same time even if you see on the screen here it beats for 3090 ti in average of 8 games it's just 20% increase and given the fact like 4080 goes for 1200 1300 1500 bucks almost 1600 somewhere it's expensive and 1200 it's also expensive for rtx 4080 like it's still It feels like Nvidia is planning like launching these cards during the crypto crash. During the crypto, even the crypto has been crashed and stuff. So yeah, they are still in the shortest situation. And given the fact like RTX RX 7900 XT X and 7900 XT is more powerful compared to RTX 4090 4080 in rasterization, we just have to see whether it sustains or not. Moving on, we have news regarding. the adapters i made a video and regarding the rtx 4090 adapters we knew like it was being made by two different companies but now we have more scenarios like because they said the one from astron is breaking and not from ndk but now there is something else that happens like they said like the adapter made from the founder edition will never break and as you can see on the screen here it is shared on reddit and the founder edition rtx 4090 ti adapter broke So basically, it is said like he bought the RTX 4090 last 19th October, and it has been installed in Helios case, and he was using 1200 PSU. Along with it, he played only for two, three, two or three hours, and then sometimes, and then later down the line, the adapter broke, and it is from the native by Nvidia's founder edition. So this is a bad scenario. We just have to wait and see how Nvidia responds to it. They should respond to it. Going on from Momomo underscore US, we have some chart regarding AMD's GPU RX 6900 XTX, and here you can see it requires almost 850 watts, which is similar to Nvidia's RTX 4090 power requirement, which is 850 watts. And given the fact like the board power power for RX 6900 XTX is 350 355 watts, if it requires a total board power of 850 watt PSU. Then the overclocking headroom on this 7900 XTX will be insane. Given the fact, like it requires the same as RTX 4090, and 4090 requires 450 watt. So if we consider the fact, then RX 6900 XTX can overclock to insane clocks, and if it can get that match clocks, they will. It will directly challenge our Nvidia's RTX 4090. and we already saw it in scenarios where in cyberpunk uh, 4090 gets only 78 frames per second or rx 7900 xtx gets 72 frames per second so yeah, it just have to wait and watch what really happens but it is nice to see like there is a competition in the market moving on i recently went over rx6 rx 6900 xtx benchmarks like the lick slides and as you can see on the screen here if we compare it to the RTX 4080 founder edition it is truly it was truly insane like RTX 49 4080 can't compete with RX 6900 XTX in pure rasterization and now we have more benchmarks if we can compare it directly with RTX 4080 and in each and every scenario like in some scenario RTX 4080 beats it but in most of the scenarios RX 6900 XTX clearly beats RX 49 4080 Founder Edition in this scenario, but given the fact like we don't have benchmarks for RX 6900 XTX as it has been not been released as of now, it is just pure speculation like from the slides and it might be cherry picked like the 
given the fact like the, we don't need know the system system information about these two benchmarks like uh, RX 69 and RX will be performing with higher power CPU and RTX 4080 with not super powerful but given the fact like it is clearly able to beat RTX 4080 overclocked like the stocked RX 6900 XTX can clearly beat RTX 4080 stock it just gives us high hope for RX 4080 for RX 7900 XTX and given the fact like it can clearly come close to close to RTX 4090 in pure rasterization it's a nice thing to see and we also know like they are working on FSR 3.0 which is a frame generation technique so it might be even better than RTX 4090 we just have to wait and see and it returns for thousand bucks so it is nice thing to see so that's it for me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below so like share and subscribe and more for more tech news subscribe to the channel and peace out